Who is this ghastly man? Your one and only favorite Muppet. <laughs> Hello, how's Hi. everyone doing? We got Queen Boomer back. Yeah. Who is disobeying her bed rest order yet again. Um, not really. Because she's losing her mind being so bored. You've already watched everything you can watch. Yeah, pretty much. On, uh... I think I might watch Sinbad tonight. Sinbad? Yeah. You and your Disney stuff. I like Disney movies. You really do. You're obsessed. But uh, anyway, welcome back to the channel. We're watching some peep show today. Peep to peep! And we're starting on season six. So this is, uh, it's called Jeremy at the JL JLB, I think it's called. JLB? What does that stand for? I don't know. I have no idea. But I'm sure it'll explain it to us in the episode. So, hope you're all having a good day. Remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. And let's react to some peep to peep. I like how that's your like theme song for this show. It's not even a theme song. It's just like a sound bite. Yeah. Peep to peep. All right, here we go, folks. Now, look, Hans, I want you to be careful taking it out. Yeah. He's a big bastard. I'll give you that. Maybe I can break him down. Cut him down to size. If you want, I could get the axe. The axe? Just a hand axe, Mark. Not a felon axe. No, Hans, no axes. I could help. For a little sweetener. Fiver. A fee? Oh, well, I suppose you never really sat on that sofa much, did you? Maybe just for about 100,000 hours. And I suppose you won't sit on the new sofa much either. I just need money, Mark. Yes, well, I don't want to pay you for domestic chores. That's why I'm abusing my management position to get you challenging work at JLB. I don't need to be challenged, Mark. I just need something to do in the mornings. Some purpose. I'm tired of staring at my own winkle all day. And, and careful bringing the new one in. Chipped paintwork and abrasion to the upholstery will result in deductions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Terms and conditions apply. This energy drink may cause anal discharge, etc. <sighs> Hasn't got a girlfriend, so he buys a new sofa. You can't fuck a sofa, mate. Take it from me. Oh, they broke this up. Suit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. The, 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 all these storylines in Peep Show, it's like... You don't know what the fuck show is. Yeah. You know? I mean, you do, but... It's yeah, but just... you don't need to, like, to get the jokes and enjoy the show. You don't need to watch everything. Okay, well, I I guess I should. Uh, the last episode of season five. Uh -huh. um, because in season four, Mark and Sophie were supposed to get married. And then they walked on and walked down the aisle and then Sophie said, I can't do it. Oh, they did? They got all the way to the wedding? Yeah, and I remember then they the thing can't do the house. it. And then Sophie was like, I can't do it. Uh, for obvious reasons where Mark fucked up. And then, um... This last episode of season five, um... They hooked up one night. Oh. And Sophie got pregnant. But then you found out later in the episode that Sophie slept with Jeremy before that. So it was so Jeremy's, it's Jeremy's kid? So Jeremy's kid, yeah. Oh, but because God. it's Peep Show, I don't even know if they're gonna even gonna, like... Continue on continue with that? Continue on with okay. that. So I... That's why I didn't say anything I've in the I've heard so many stories, though, of people, like, breaking up on their wedding day. Like, you just spent so much money. Yeah. Like, it blows my mind that you got that far. Like, you got a dress, you got a suit, you sent out invitations, and then you were like, no. Yeah. I don't know, man. Well, we'll see if any of that gets mentioned yeah. in this. Sapping my vibe, my powers. Can't think right. Yeah, well, why don't you get another job? You could explore that opening at the giant beanstalk. Catching the golden eggs as they fall from the arse of the giant... What are you doing? Oh, did you see her little ears go back? She was like, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what did you do? I don't know, she's just acting like a maniac. My powers. Can't think right. Yeah, well, why don't you get another job? You could explore that opening at the giant beanstalk, catching the golden eggs as they fall from the arse of the giant's chicken. I mean, there weren't any jobs when I didn't want a job, and now I do want a job. There are, like, totally no jobs. Not just, like, there aren't any jobs, but, like, there are totally, quite literally, no jobs. You should just get a van. And with a van, it's like you've got an MBA. But you've also got a fucking van. Yeah? You're not just a man anymore. You are a man with a van. You get a van, Jez. We could be men with Ven. No, you There's a bunch of stuff got man. left on board. Thought you could feast on this lot. What is it? Sex stuff, booze, drug gear, baby shit. 
What? Why did you bring that in here? Well, you two are on some baby tip, aren't you? One of you is the oh, father of Sophie's Jerry Springer baby. We're not doing <laughs> that. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Jerry Springer, oh, Jerry, baby! Get your head out of the garbage. Oh, my God. Jerry Springer, baby. So I guess they are touching on it. They should go on the show. Ow! Jane, go lay down. Ow! Go lay down. Come here. Come on. Come on. All right, note to self, I need to cut her nails. Come on. Over there. I'm going lay down. Sorry, our fur child is acting up. Our fur child is acting up. Yeah. Look up. <laughs> she is. <laughs> Go, go lay down. We'll go out in a little bit. There'll be plenty of time for the baby later. The baby's too big. You, you can't look at it, Hans. It's like the sun. Yeah, that's the policy. What's in there, anyway? Baby shit. <laughs> so small. <laughs> no, no. No, thank you, but put it under the bed, Jeremy. OK, yeah. It's going under there. Right? God damn it. Well, we're back. Sorry <laughs> about that. I had a little accident with the dog. She threw up on the On the bed. bed. Fortunately, it was only the... Uh, a comforter part. Yeah, so... Just gotta wash that, so that's currently in the <laughs> washing machine. But, uh, anyway, let's get back to... Let's rewind this a little bit. Here we go. What's in there, anyway? Baby shit. It's so small. <laughs> no, no. No, thank you, but put it under the bed, Jeremy. Okay, yeah. It's going under there, right? It's under there now. It'll be safe under there. Okay, keys, change, wallet, phone. <clears throat> okay. Jesus, you are something else. Thank you very much. He took the insult right. as a compliment. Now, Shit, he could become invulnerable. I'm just going to take off my flatmate hat and put on my much larger new JLB manager's hat. Have you not sorted this yet? Hi, Colin. Listen, buddy, could you do me a favour and take a punt on a grunt? Yeah. Farmyard fodder, a day player. No overheads, no holiday, no contract. Cut and shut, a phone pig. <laughs> exactly. Cool, bro. Thanks. Phone pig? You're not going to lord it over me, are you, Mark? Of course not. Maybe I could make him wear a little coloured hat like they do with chimpanzees. A cone with a propeller on top. I might tell him it's a first day tradition. Wow, she is one hot tamale. Did you hear the boiler in the night? Were you hot? Whatever. I sleep naked, head out of the window. <laughs> Fuck off. It's like, as soon as a woman shows up. I know, he turns so it's, creepy. It's, it, it completely changes him. No, so when I wake up, it's just me and the universe. But how? Your bed's on the other side of the room. Got a system. The maestro magically made her think of me naked. He didn't even clock her. Tragic. It is really funny, like, the stuff you find attractive when you like someone and the stuff you find unattractive when you don't like someone can be the same thing. Does that make sense? Like, him saying, like... So you like that they... You like them. Someone you like yeah. could do something really weird and you find it attractive because you like them. Because him saying, like, I sleep naked, a normal girl would be like, ew, that's so weird. But it reminded me of the time where at work someone was making fun of your Velcro shoes. And I liked you at the time. <laughs> and you were like, oh, nothing sexier than whoosh when I take them off. And I was like, I hope I hear that sound. <laughs> Queen Boomer, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but that's what that reminded me This is why me these of. reactions are so much better when you're here. I think she's spotted it. Just, yeah. That's right, sweetheart. Ergonomic management keyboard. So this is it, Jeremy. The field of screams. Conan will be in in ten, but I think this will be your area. What, all of it? Uh, yes. Cool. Whoa, it's Tippy. I've got a Tippy chair. Yeah, so you'll just be following the cold calling script. There's a script? So I'll be like an actor? Exactly, Jeremy. You'll be just like an actor, like Al Pacino or Jeremy Irons. Just tell everyone you call up, hello, you've been specially selected as eligible for our exclusive introductory interest rate. Well, no, not everyone, because if it's exclusive, then... Oh, my God. It's wheels within wheels. I've been invited inside with the bean counters and the water borders. At some point, he's going to find out what goes in sausages. <laughs> out with the artificial limb, the salaryman keyboard, in with the dominator, the Death Star. <laughs> That's actually, you know what I love 
doing whenever I'm at like a big store like a Walmart or what? a Best Buy is going through like the computer section looking at all the different computer parts mm-hmm. but the so like I just have a very simple keyboard it just looks kind of cool because it has the Cause it lights, lights in it yeah but um there's all these keyboards that look so fucking uh, fancy. fancy and they curve certain ways yeah. and I always look at them and I'm like, maybe I should get one of these, but then I'm, at the end of the day, I'm just like, and it'll probably throw me off if I got one of those because no. I'm so used to a normal keyboard. Yeah, because they have those ones where it's like split in half because you only have to use. Yeah. But I don't, I don't know, I don't type like that, so it's weird for me. Yeah. I don't like it. But I always look at them and I'm like, maybe one day I'm going to pull the trigger on getting one of these fancy keyboards, but I never do. And I don't think it's a good idea anyway, because it'll just throw me off when I'm Can doing stuff. Can you type stuff. fast? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. Maybe not like super fast, but fast, yeah. I type like... Like, like a typewriter? Like... I'm like... <laughs> and then I look up and I'm like, what does that say? <laughs> you can't read what you typed. <laughs> uh. Yeah, Dobby. I'll summon her in later. Uh, Dobby, I seem to be having a server problem. Could you have a fiddle? I think the problem is in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeff! <laughs> Dobby's the one he should be with. Not too busy to check in with the old boss. You're not me boss, Mark. Stop calling yourself me boss. I'm head of a team that contains people of your level. I- I'm certainly your like superior. Let's leave it at that. I'm on your remuneration committee, so... Fingers crossed for that bonus, Jeff. What's funnier, zero bonus, or like a humiliating 103 pounds? Both are very funny. Hey, man, can't stop. Just to say, it's all going super great down there. Y- you're not leaving, Jeremy. You've got to stay until at least five, or it makes me look bad. I've made, like, four sales. I'm zinging. Colin's put me top of the leaderboard. I'm in line for Pizza Hut vouchers. You're king of the farmyard. Y- you're in line for the free garlic bread. What's... Oh, fire alarm. Oh, God, oh. look at you. What? Frightened little mouse. It's a fire alarm, Jeremy. Oh, yeah, right, like there's a fire. There's never a fire, Mark. It just doesn't happen. I mean, maybe in a film, but... So what? There's never been a fire anywhere? Not in an office in England. God, you're pathetic. Ooh, fire. <laughs> Please don't burn me or my possessions. I'm so important and flammable. <laughs> Is this a tech? <laughs> you are on, like, the third or second story. <laughs> The stuff that Jeremy gives Mark shit for. I know. It's so funny. It's also scaring me that uh, Jeremy is now working in the same company as Mark. Yeah, that's Mark. scary. I this would is, not have done that. That's the first time that's happened. Yeah. So I don't know whose suggestion that was, but... Um, it might not be it the best ma- idea. Probably makes for great entertainment. Yes. No, not a test. Come on, Mark. Fucking hell. Get your elbows in. It's all gone backdraft. <laughs> What's going on? There's a rumour in that huddle of third floor Daleks that it's a test, but the phone pigs are sure there was a fire in the farmyard kitchen. The maintenance man's pulling his pud in the porter cabin. Come on, your management, you Corrigan, get it sorted. Right. Yes. You know what she did to Mark? What? She jerked him off with her butt. Am I lying? <laughs> what do you mean she jerked her him off with her butt? That's anal. She jerked him <laughs> off with her bum. No, she just rubbed her bum up against him. So, like, grinding? Yeah. Were they closed? Yeah. And that's just grinding. Yeah, well, it, it, it worked pretty well for Mark. He got overexcited. <laughs> Come on back. Help pull me back. It's a good girl. <laughs> Charles would be a fine thing. That's the thing people say, isn't it? Apparently the reset code needs to be authorised from Frankfurt. If you can believe it. Mark, can't you reset it? Charles would be a fine thing, Lisa. I know what we should do. Coffee run. Cardigan, 200 lattes. <laughs> good, good one, Jeff. Charles would be a fine thing. A, a, a fine thing indeed. Hmm, saying that too often now. Uh, everything's under control. We'll, we'll have it all sorted so, soon as. Qu- quick as. Oh, thank God. Johnson. There he is. A great helmsman can march us to a grain depot and we can bed down for the night. Listen. So, uh, listen up. I just got in from Aberdeen. And I want to warn you that you're probably going to be hearing a lot of rumours. But 
I can reassure you that Stefan Strauss and the rest in Frankfurt are doing everything they can. Talks are ongoing and everything's looking promising. But I need to inform you that you're all officially unemployed. What? But no! I, I've just started being a boss! What about my Danish sofa? What about my keyboard? I didn't get to show Dad a business card. The doors are locked. JLB Credit UK is no longer existent. Thank you and good night, England. <laughs> what? And he gets the fuck out of there! Ah. That is that is not ah. how you fire someone. You don't make a fucking fire alarm. <laughs> you see how fast he ran? Yeah. He's like, I goodbye. Oh my god, that was oh, great. No. Alan, let me in, Alan! <laughs> the last beamer out of Saigon. I'm at the mercy of the Vietnamese peasants. Please don't put me in a bamboo cage. Wow, so everything's just gone tits up. I mean, how mad is that? Head fuck or what? Yes, Jeremy, it, it is indeed a head fuck. Look, exactly. Like he was just saying a bunch might go down the crown. The crown? You know, down the crown. Everyone goes on a Friday. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, d down the crown. Great. One morning and he fits in better than me. I would... Where they go bar? I would do the all same thing. We all just got fired. Power. Let's go drink. Oh. Might as well delete my spreadsheet of her coffee break times. I cannot believe this. I can't. They've really screwed us, man. They've screwed me. They've diddled you at most. It's like JLB never existed. Poof. Just poof. Gone. So sad. Ooh. Ugh. Sophie. Alcohol. That can't be good for our baby. It's not our baby. Can you stop saying that? Ouch. Another one. You should give her a warning look, Mark. Let's try and give her a warning look. Is it okay, do you think, to get involved? <laughs> he's like, that's not good for our baby. Like, he's just, like, wrapping this baby together. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of cute. I guess a bit of one of us is on board. The baby's a bit no, like don't drink. our embassy on her territory. Oh, let's not have a little pisshead, Mark. Oh, the first of many pub visits the baby's going to ruin. Hi. We were just wondering... What? The wine, so... F I've had one small glass. Well, we both know that's not true, so so let's start with the fact, shall we? And She's safe. Oh, we, we thought that was... One small spritzer, half a unit. Should I have got written permission? Written permission? <laughs> Listen to her, she, she's exaggerating for comic effect, and it certainly has put me well and truly in my place. Hey, guess what? You love me and you want to move to Norway? Pete heard we're in profit. The German outfit is the one tanking, but Strauss is closing up the UK to save the mothership. Jesus, you're kidding, is that true? I don't know, it might be one of those rumours you get after disasters, like, did you know no one with an Apple Mac died on 9-11? But we can't let them split up the team? I mean, you and me and, and, and you know, Lisa, it would, be, it would be a tragedy if I couldn't see you anymore. We've got to fight back. Yeah! Here, here. It's too beautiful a thing to let just go poof. Okay, got to build a JLB. <laughs> oh, I like know, that's a thing. Poof. 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 Well, he did only work there for like not even a day. So to him, Johnny Knoxville. Like it did it go be... poof? But it would be a tragedy if I couldn't see you anymore. We've got to fight back. Oh. Yeah! Here, here. It's too beautiful a thing to let like, just go poof. Okay, got to build a JLB life raft. Haul Dobby out of the water. Come aboard, shipmate. Now let's get you out of those wet clothes. I was thinking JLB Survivors Campaign Group. Right, yeah. Grassroots campaign to get justice. Grassroots, yeah, but with me as the chair. Or, or president. President or chair. Which do you reckon? Doesn't matter. We'll campaign and, and I'll write a blog and I'll, I'll write to my MP. I might go on the one show. And I've got an idea for a rather savage satirical cartoon. We could do a benefit night and, and I'm, I might do a skit. You in a skit in front of people. I just think it'd be fun. I, I, I might do a skit with Dobby. Oh, right. I get it. Yeah. The swish of the curtain, the smell of the grease paint, the rub job in the dressing room. Oh, really? 3.40pm, back home, slightly pissed. Guess what? We both went to work and it was brilliant, but then the whole company got shut down and it was mad shit. We're both out of a job. Oh, well, more work for the men with then. Recession, supper time for the vanners, dude. All these big beasts going belly up. We're more. just vanning their shit out. I might give my contact to Bill. See what bits of the JLB corpse there are to chow down on. Hands, please. This is hard for us. I feel that something's died inside, don't you, Mark? Uh-huh. Such a weird day for all of us JL beers. I mean, the whole thing's gone. Just poof. Can you please stop? <laughs> he literally worked there for five minutes. He didn't even make one phone call. And he's like, this was my life. 
I'm doing that. Why? I'm really, really depressed. No, I'm sorry, you're not allowed to be depressed. Why not? Because you're freeloading on my trauma. You're, you're a grief thief. Bollocks. I really felt I was finding my niche. You can't find your niche between 9 and 11.30. Since when did you set the niche finding times? Look, the only reason you're romanticising this job is that you'll never get to do it again. Oi, 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 oi. Buy it. Drabble. Relax. Come and have a look at this. Jesus, look at it. Wonder who the Prime Minister will be when I finish the repayments. An unborn milliband? The depression is here and my new sofa is a white elephant. It's a creamy elephant. Please don't call it the creamy elephant. <laughs> I think I'm going to be sick. Hey, Jez, listen. If you're at a loose end, I might need a couple of guys. Do a job. Cash it out. Oh, the high quality upholstery is like a knife in my couch. back. Oh, when he's another yeah. guy. Hmm? Any guy with hands and arms and legs who might be around to just jump in the van and earn a few quid. Hmm, a guy. A guy who needs a bit of cash. A guy, a guy, a guy. Where can we find just a regular guy, any guy? I'm trying to think, but I, I can't think. <coughs> How did this happen? I woke up Branson, end the day, humping shit, cash in hand for super hands. Uh, where do I go? You're riding bitch. On the bitch rack. God, Hans is my boss. Jeremy's probably my line manager. Sorry for the delay. <coughs> While I was waiting for the food, I actually sketched out a potential invite for the JLB Survivors Fundraiser. This is just a satirical sideswipe at the corporate culture. Star Wars? If you oh stroke my, my down, I shall become more purple than you can possibly imagine. <laughs> Okay. Look at his face, he's so proud of it. <laughs> As if Disney didn't ruin Star Wars enough. They gotta see this shit. Yep. <laughs> I like his little drawing. Yeah. Isn't down for a duck, not a cat? Yes, but it's got to be cat because of purple. Is it? Yes. But if you stroke my down. Yes. I mean, it's definitely got to be a duck. You're overanalyzing. But people will be laughing so hard, they won't be thinking about what it does or doesn't mean, Jeremy. Where's my fucking nugget? I've dropped about six social classes since this morning. Where's my onion rings? This is, this, this is, this is... You fucked this order right up, haven't you? <laughs> hey? Haven't you? Hey? Answer me! Yes. Right. I'm having your chicken wrap. Jez, you can have your chips. You can have this little bit of matter. Oh, for once in my life I've done enough physical labour to merit a high-carb meal and all I'm left with is an indeterminate puck of gristle. I mean, it looks like chicken. I just, I love I that. How it, he said it so calmly. <laughs> calm. Where's my fucking nugget? <laughs> that was fucking great. Boss of the JLB survivors. Yes! Probably a lot of organizations got started to bag pussy for their leaders. Charles Manson and his family. Henry oh, no. VIII and the Church of England. I've been doing vodka shots with the phone pigs. It's great to see all the old faces, isn't it? Yes, Jeremy. I, I invited everyone. Even Stefan Strauss from Frankfurt. Though, I doubt he'll be showing his face. Not after my cartoon. You saw the cartoon, so? Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. What, what did you like about it? It was a sort of joke, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right, Soph. Exactly. Yeah, I'm not going to squeeze too much praise out of that dry old stone. Probably went straight over her head. Jeez. Dobbs, hey there. Hi, Mark. Did you get a chance to have a look at my speech? Was it OK? Oh, yeah. Amazing. Martin Luther Corrigan. And, and do you think I should call head office avaricious profit cannibals or mendacious bonus junkies? Well, you're the boss. You decide. Exactly. Like I'm the boss. I am the boss again. Like, did she mean, I mean to jack him off with her bum? She likes him, accident? yeah. Okay. She likes him and he likes her. He's just so awkward that mm -hmm. he fucks it up every time. Okay. I'm just like, how did this happen? And yes, she did jerk him off with her bum. Oh my gosh, please stop. We need to stop saying this. Well, it's fun, it's fun to say it. I better go make sure Skunky Pete knows how to crank up the volume. <laughs> Tell him to turn it up to 11. <laughs> And they both like the same thing. Final tap, Jack. Yeah. I know. Yeah. 
Look at them all, nervous now. That's natural. This is how Frost felt before the first that was the week, or through the keyhole. How do I look? Do I look all right? Great. You're going to be great, man. Thanks. I just need... The moustache? Yeah, I'm having a mini wobble on the moustache. What do you think? I, I just feel... I'm not trying to associate JLBHQ with the Nazis. That would be reductive. I just want to hint at certain similarities in terms of the unquestioning approach both power structures want their underlings to adopt. Do, do you think people will get that? Yeah. <laughs> Eric, Honecker, a, a Bismarck, something a little more <coughs> tasty. Mark, you've got to get the ship munchers on side. Adolf is a guaranteed hooter. Hitler me, Jez. Hitler I'm me. Becoming the Fuhrer. The Fuhrer of laughs. I don't, I don't think so. So, what have we here? Now. An ailing patient, but one who is delivering consistent profits except for 2003. What on earth happened here? Barbara Spunk to Grand on the Christmas Day. <laughs> Should have kept that line for myself. She doesn't even know who Barbara is. So, let the surgery begin! Bloody hell, this I'm is great. I've single-handedly relaunched the satire boom. Oh my god, they loved it! They didn't seem to go crazy for the outsourcing IT material. Maybe they just spunked their wad on the farmyard kettle shit. I know, that was massive. I'm drinking champagne. I've written and directed a hit play. It's the Bohemian Dream. Man, that was so funny. Some of the guys are saying it could be on TV. <laughs> oh, God. Well, what a ridiculous idea. That on TV. No, no not without a, a lot of editing. Uh, it really is a crazy idea at its current duration. I like how you just described their own show. Yeah. <laughs> His peep show is fucking wild. And Stefan Strauss made it after all. I'm sorry. Hello, uh, Mark. Oh, hi, Stefan. So we got your invite and we wanted to come along just to show everyone's appreciation from the Frankfurt end for the UK operation's good work over the years. Did you see the skit? Yes, I saw the skit. Oh, right. Good. I've gone too far. Permanent marker. I'm Russell Brand, Stefan's lovely Andrew Sachs. What if he likes it? Gone? No. And uh, obviously there must be a lot of anxiety over bonus and salary issues. But JLB is doing all it can to help. That's great. Uh, maybe we can chat further when you've taken off your costume. I, I, I'm really sorry about, about the moustache. No, no, it's fine. It's um, a difficult time. To me, Germany is Goethe and Thomas Mann and Boris Becker, but it's, it's difficult to do a Goethe moustache. Did, did Goethe have a moustache out, out of interest? Uh, I don't know. Um, I don't think so. Maybe. Really? That, that, that's fascinating. I'd like to talk with you more about Goethe. I really am no expert. Oh, you're too modest. Look, come and have a chat next door when you're ready. Ah, oh, into the interrogation room with the Gestapo. N not Gestapo! <laughs> Do you see us all look back? <laughs> you're like, you're fucked. Oh my god. Uh, Just normal German, federal or state police. So, uh, what did you, um... Uh, Stefan wanted to have a chat with you about some issues about your J.O.B. survivors group. It doesn't look good, some of the accusations that have been flying around. We don't like friction. Their thing is, if the campaign were to quieten down, maybe there'd be a few more resources for redundancy. You might even get your bonus. They're gonna give us what we want? No, but they can give you what you want. On a one-off basis, oh. if all this unpleasantness was to go away? They want to stuff my mouth with gold, lovely chewy gold. I could pay off the sofa. I could buy the matching chair. I told Stefan you might not have the asshole for this, Mark. You need a brass ring piece to handle this. The question is, can you put a lid on the squid? Listen up, mofos, because it's the right honourable Mr. Mark Corrigan! <laughs> England, Arthur. Oh, that's good. He must have Googled that. Hi, Mark! <laughs> thank you, thank you. And it's, it's great that you can all come today. It's, it's been a great afternoon and, and we've had a lot of laughs. And uh, I'd, I'd just like to say about the JLB Survivors Group and the final salary payout battle, well, it's been a week now and I think the time has come for us to stand up and say, we tried, we failed, and we're moving on. He's doing it. What a butthole. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, this is a rare moment.
for Peep Show because usually Mark ends up screwing over some one or two other people. Yeah. Not an entire room of people. No. And these people are going to have nothing. They all just lost their job. Oh, God. What? what do you mean? Look, JLB is, is a big multinational, and it served us all a great big shit sandwich. But what we've got to do is we've just got to eat it down. So let's go forward, <laughs> conserve our energy, background. let bygones be bygones, turn the music up, and have a great time. Over to you, Mr. DJ. Oh, great. The chopper's leaving Saigon without me again. Just get to the buffet. The safety of the buffet. If I can stuff my mouth with enough salami, I won't be able to answer any difficult questions. Mark, what the hell was that? Yeah, great bargain. We tried the baba ganoush. What about our money? Yeah, when are we going to get our money? You worked at JLB for less than three hours. I'll, I'll give you your bloody money. There's your money, £14.50. You happy now? A bit. Yes. Did they not <laughs> you, Mark, in the back room? Are you kidding? I, I kicked off. I, I really want to hurt those bastards. I think the cartoon rocked them. L let me have a think about another savage pun. Oh, bollocks, Mark. Words and speeches and ideas never change anything. Let's do something. Yeah. Who's up for a raiding party? Got to get Dobby <laughs> back on side. The doors will definitely be locked. Time for a futile gesture. Let's do this thing. I can't believe they left the door open. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> what a quote! I can't believe they left the door open. It's gonna be bad. Oh god, this is this is actually this is quite a different type of peep yeah. show episode. I'm liking it. I like it. That Superhands. Cheers. What are you doing here? We're going out there to fuck shit up. No way. Oh right, fair enough. I, I suppose we'd better all just. What? Sorry, man. I've got keys. Of course he's got keys. He's carving up the JLB corpse. We're just going to take what's ours. Look, honey, you need to make your protest through the agreed grievance procedure. That's a good procedure. Riot! Put it back, bitch. That's JLB. It's the pass at Thermopylae. We're the Spartans. No, Hans is the Spartans. Come on, Mark! Hold on, am I a Spartan or a Persian? Fuck it, I'll work it out later. OK, what's the minimum criminal damage I can get away with? Take that! Our work here is done! Let's go! Snowstorm! OK, there is a nuclear reaction underway. <laughs> but I can be a cooling rod. They're the hard spirits, I'm the carbonated mixer. How can I distract the savages? Keyboard! Apparent crusade for justice, reduced risk of RSI at home. Print Double your own keyboard bubble. that you just I've got bought. it! I've got the keyboard! This is accomplished, guys! Let's roll! Why has he got his shirt off? Any excuse and he'll take his shirt off. Why not? Oh, God. Got to respond. She's got a cock. Need to get a cock of my own. Suck on this. Take it, bone face. Dobby's hard-on's coming all over me. This is my dream. My nightmare. Eat my phone, Eat my phone. Eat it off. Never phone yeah. alone. <laughs> phone, phone. Oh, this is better than sex. It's easier than sex. Oh, my God. That wasn't my main photocopier, but it was a trusty steed when the main one was busy. Screw it. Who needs to? I like I said it's easier than sex. <laughs> As if sex is like fucking... To copy so a a woman and a high-resolution printer that scans. Shall we? Yeah, I mean, I, I've copied a lot of shit on this copy here, but who the hell even cares? Mark? <laughs> Hello? Stefan, what, what are you? We're shredding, Mark. What's going on? Nothing. But... I mean, obviously, we're fucking everything up, and the fact that you're probably insured for all this doesn't make a blind bit of difference to us. Yeah. Yeah, so suck it up, you douchebag. Well, got Dobby, but there goes yep. the Nazi gold. Back into the vault with all the Rembrandt. Should have hit that check. Oh, man. That was an interesting one. That was. It was much different from other Peep Show episodes, but I liked it. I liked it, too. It was a different uh, different Peep Show experience, for sure. I like Dobby. She's cool. Yeah. She's the one he should be with. Maybe it'll happen she in later seasons, too. but who knows. Um, yeah. It's, it's funny how like, and it is true. Sophie turned crazy, though, because I feel like she was yeah. so normal She was in the so beginning. normal in the beginning. Look at what crazy men can do to a sane woman. <laughs> well, that is true, though. Dobby did 
jerk off Mark with her bum. Okay. I need to watch this episode. It did happen. I'm very confused. Am I right? Am I right? I'm I'm very confused, but slightly intrigued. (laughs) Uh, but no, that they, they have so much in common. They always have fun together. Yeah. He should be with her. Aw. But I don't know what's gonna happen with that baby scenario. Their joint baby, best friend baby. Yeah, and that's the weird part is like they're like they're so over Sophie that they're just like whatever. We'll just raise the baby together. Yeah, they're like we'll figure it out. <laughs> So it's, uh, we'll see where it goes from there. I hope we see a lot more of Alan. Yeah, I hope And I wonder what's going to happen with the whole... I hope he doesn't go away now that he doesn't have that job anymore. Well, who knows? I mean... You know, the, the, you know there was that one episode where... Mar- I don't think you watched this one, but uh, Mark had like a mental breakdown in a big meeting that Alan started. Oh yeah, no, I did see that one. Well, maybe it happened more than once, because this one, I don't think, like, oh. he, and maybe, then he, I think he's had is, lots of mental Is it the one where he, like, left the room and, like, tried to hide? He, like, jumped out of the window. Yeah, 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 yeah. that one, okay. Yeah. So I guess you were there for that one. Yeah. But yeah, after that, I was like, there's no way he's going back to that job. He's going to be fired after that. <laughs> and sure enough, he's back. And there's been, like, you know, dozens of other things that he's done at that job. Yeah. And he's still there, so it's just... It's just fun. Yeah, they forgive him nonsense. for a lot of things. Yeah. So, but yeah, good episode. I liked it a lot. It was it was different from the other Peep Show episodes, and I appreciated it. It was it was great. Oh, I need but, a cup um, of tea. So do I. Yeah. I need, to, I need to wake back up. We do. We got stuff to do tonight. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, we hope you enjoyed the reaction. Remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. And we'll see you next time, all right? Bye, guys. Peace out, Boomerite. See you next time.